Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joyofbaking.com. Today we're going to make chocolate frozen banana pops. And this is what they look like. As you can see, you got a nice coating on the outside and inside you have a frozen banana. Really good. And they're actually pretty easy to make. So what you need is obviously bananas and you want them ripe but you don't want them too soft. You don't want bananas like you make for, say, a banana bread. You can either like this, or you can have them with a bit of brown spots, but not too much. And then you will also need some kind of um, stick to insert into the chunks of banana. I'm using like a, well, a cake pop or a cookie stick, they're called. You can get them at cake decorating stores or stores like Joann's or Michael's or even online. Other choices are like bamboo skewers or you could use popsicle sticks or even chopsticks, whatever you have. And then all you need to do is take your banana, peel it obviously, and then if you have any of these threads, just get rid of those. And then for a banana that size, I tend to just cut it in half. You can make, really, you can do it any size you want. And then just take your stick that you're using and just insert it in, you know, at least halfway. And that's it. And then what you want to do is some kind of plate or baking sheet, whatever will fit into your freezer, because we've got to freeze these. And then just um, line whatever you have, like your plate, with either aluminum foil, you could use parchment paper, you could use wax paper, whatever you have. I mean, really, it's, that's all you really need to do. And then you need to put them into the freezer for about 15 to 30 minutes. We want them to kind of get a little hard. They don't have to get frozen all the way through, just cold. And do not cover the bananas because we don't want any moisture to form on the bananas while they're freezing. So now my bananas are almost frozen and ready to dip. So what we want to do now is melt some chocolate. So in a uh, heat proof bowl, I like the uh, stainless steel and you need a saucepan of simmering water. So I'm going to, you'll need four ounces, which is about 115 grams of either a semi-sweet or a bittersweet chocolate and use a pretty good quality, one that you just like eating on its own. And just put that and chop it. I mean, I got these little kind of discs. Just cut them down. If you're using like a chocolate bar, cut it down into bite-sized pieces. And then what I'm going to add to this is one tablespoon of a flavorless oil. Now that could be like a vegetable, corn, canola, safflower, or even a light olive oil. Or another choice is like a coconut oil if you'd, if you'd like to add a little bit of flavor to your chocolate. And then I'm just gonna put that on the saucepan and let it melt. Okay, so our chocolate is now melted. So just take it off the heat. The reason we added the oil is because when we dip our bananas, when you put oil into chocolate, it kind of thins it out because what we want is a thin coating of chocolate on our bananas. And if we didn't put that oil, then it tends to, we get too thick of a coat. So that's the reason. Now I'm just gonna let that cool a little to room temperature because we don't want it hot. And then have ready like a, you want some kind of bowl or glass that's narrow and tall because we want to dip the bananas. And so when we come back, we will, I'll show you how to dip the bananas in the melted chocolate. Okay, so we're ready. I got my bananas frozen and I'm just gonna pour the chocolate into my glass. The great thing about these banana, chocolate covered bananas is they will last in your refrigerator like you can freeze them for up to a week. So if you're having a party, you can make them a few days before, which is always nice to be able to do ahead. And so then just take your banana, 
take your chocolate and just dip it in and you want to make sure you get the whole thing and then I'm just going to hold it over so the excess chocolate can drip off. Now if you freeze these, like I, I don't like to eat them right away because I want to put, once I dip them all, I'll put them back in the freezer. I mean, you could eat them right away, but the problem is we didn't freeze our bananas all the way through. And so they're still kind of soft. So you want to put them back in the freezer for maybe at least an hour before serving. Now, you already see it's starting to harden. And if you want, you could sprinkle or dip in some chopped nuts or sprinkles or chocolate jimmies or something. I actually just like it like that. And so you, if you say freeze them overnight, the next day you want to serve them, what I do is take them out of the freezer and put them in the, your refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And that way, because if you take them right out of the freezer and eat them, the, that banana gets pretty hard. I find a little too hard, at least a little too cold for me. So I put them in the fridge for about a half hour and that way the banana, which I've done with this one, the banana kind of softens a little, but still firm. Oh yeah, still really cold, but not like frozen, frozen. I really like because the chocolate's nice and cold, it's kind of crisp, you get the banana, really good. I mean, these make such a nice casual, like either a snack or a dessert if you're having a barbecue. And really, you can make as many or as few as you want. So enjoy, and until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.